Welcome to the vlog for today. I am actually in my hotel room in Fort Lauderdale right now, which is where I am today through Sunday. I have another meetup this weekend. I wanted to just say that really quick, but the vlog is getting off to a late start today because I had a super, super early morning flight. I woke up at like six something and my flight to Fort Lauderdale from LA was uh, like, I thought it was gonna be for some reason, I thought the flight was like seven hours, but it was only five hours or so, or like even it was four, four hours and something, like the actual fly time really wasn't that bad, um, but I did lose three hours coming to the east coast so i didn't land until 6 p.m so yeah i'm not starting off the vlog until later today it's definitely gonna be a chill vlog today but i wanted to give you guys a little hotel room tour i'm having a great day i flew virgin it was great i got i felt productive on the plane it was like one of the times that i didn't just try and sleep the whole flight the flight did not feel that long as i said i got some work done i was doing emails felt just like productive and stuff so yeah i'm just here me alone this weekend which is you know a little bit sad but this is the last meetup that just I'm going to Meg's coming to the Houston one next weekend which if you guys live in the Houston area I, I want to make sure as many of you guys know about this one as possible because I've been asked to have like a Texas meetup I know Texas is huge but I've been asked to have a Texas meetup so much and this is my first meetup in Texas and it's pretty cool that it's in Houston because that's actually where my dad's side of the family lives so Meg and I will hopefully get to see my grandparents and my aunt and uncle and my cousins and stuff like that when we're there I need to text them actually but they do know that we're coming um, and then I might get to see some of my friends who live there as well and I get to meet you guys so yes me and Megan will be in Houston next Saturday the August 29th the August 29th it is the Memorial City Mall at 2 p.m. but I'll have info in the description box I suppose but this weekend is um, Fort Lauderdale I'm gonna give you a little shot out of my hotel window it's kind of nice. We have some palm trees, if you can even see those. And this reminds me of like Orlando, but I don't know how close I am to Orlando. I think I'm closer to Miami than Orlando, but yeah. Um, it's pretty humid out, but what can you do? We're in Florida. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna give you guys a little hotel room tour because I got the hookup, man. This room has like, it's one of those rooms that has like an extra little room out here and Macy's just hooked me up so we got kitchen area um desk couch chair table we got one tv in here and there's another tv in this room which is just just craziness you guys I'll probably watch a movie tonight or something like that two freaking beds <laughs> and maybe I'll sleep in one each night since I'm staying here for two nights and then um, just two mirrors as well. Dang, man, I got the freaking hookup. A nice full length mirror right here. Bathroom. And then you walk back out and that's where we came in. It's kind of like a little, you know, square. There's a whole closet. I mean, wow, this place is great. I am a little bit like bleh, just tired. I, did, I got maybe maybe three hours of, oh my god the lighting's awful I got maybe three hours of sleep last night so honestly I'm probably gonna either I don't know if I'll take a nap but I'm probably just gonna like lie down and chill for a little bit probably go to sleep early tonight if I don't take a nap I don't know I guess I'm just gonna flop around <laughs> and I'll see you guys maybe when I get some room service because that's definitely happening whoa the lighting looks kind of cool now <laughs> the sun's already going down and it got dark but it's not even that late it's not even like 8 p.m anyway um the point of this clip is i was reading comments on my last vlog and i saw this comment from d the g and she actually was one of the winners of one of my recent giveaways so i recognize your username and everything and she says Lindsay, it'd be so cool if you did like q a segments and have people tweet you questions for you to answer kind of like colleen's corner i always have so many questions for you and then somebody said I second this and there's a lot of thumbs up as you can tell so 
I said I'm gonna try this in my vlog I'm filming today a vlog right now that you're watching so um, I am gonna tweet out right now asking for some questions and then I am gonna go ahead to the hotel gym getting back on my workout grind I worked out last night and I honestly just felt so good afterwards and I was like I miss this this makes me feel so good um, so I'm gonna go work out and when I come back I'm gonna order room service and then I'm gonna go through my questions and answer like some of them all right I'm back from the gym if you can even tell I haven't showered or anything yet but I had a really nice workout <laughs> and um, I am gonna go just kind of like in order of who asked like first there's a ton of questions so I don't want to make this vlog like insanely long although you guys do like long vlogs so I'll try to answer as many I can as like quick as I can um, the first question that anyone asked is from at banging Baron and she says 2015 is almost over how important is this year to you and um, I mean this year has been amazing probably like probably the best year of my life if 2014 wasn't the best year of my life it's been an amazing year 2015 is just like a great year you know i'm turning 21 this year it's been a great year so far it's gonna be a great year the rest of it <laughs> um christina malaire says what's the next place you want to visit and i am visiting a ton of places in the next few weeks but i guess the next place that i want to visit that i haven't visited i think more than anything i would really like to go to australia um meg and i have talked about it I really could go to australia like i have the money saved to go if i wanted to and i could go i just need to you know plan that and i don't want to go all the way across like the world alone really so um hopefully i can go to australia seriously within the next like six months to a year or something like that because that is I know Australia is huge but um I would probably go to like Perth Sydney I've heard Perth is great I don't even know if I'm saying it right I think I am XOB brother XO says how long do you plan to stay in your loft my lease is a year so probably a year if I want to move at the end of the year, I will. Um, if not, I definitely might see myself staying there because it's in downtown, which is where Fitum is, and I'm going to be at Fitum for the next, like, two, two and a half, three years, however long um, I decide to take to do my bachelor's. Basically, X Harry says, do you plan on living in LA for the rest of your life? And then Sam Martin says, favorite city other than LA. And um, I don't really like to plan my life more than a few like months in advance because I'm always changing what I want to do and just things are always changing in life so I don't like to have really like five year and ten year goals that's not the type of, the per of a person that I am I don't I can't picture myself what I'm gonna be like in five or ten years like that's just crazy to me um I don't think there's a point of like planning it out okay I'm not answering the question but I don't plan on living in LA for the rest of my life um I think I'll definitely live other places for sure definitely maybe other countries even I love traveling I love like new places I definitely see myself living other places but definitely like LA I feel like is gonna be home base for the next like while of my life because I love Los Angeles so much and I wouldn't want to live anywhere else at this like time in my life and then my favorite city other than LA I love a lot of cities for different reasons but some of my favorites are probably Portland Chicago and San Francisco Simone is cooler says how is Squirtle feeling about the move and honestly I don't know Megan is babysitting him this weekend I, I don't know how he's feeling about the new move he's been his same like spunky guy um, he's great <laughs> slang since 65 says how are you so positive sorry I'm moving the camera on top of my laptop because it let it lets my arm like rest a little bit she says how are you so positive i would like to be the type of person that is seen as like a joyous happy positive person like when other people are around me like when you're around somebody like that i feel like they just rub off on you and put you in this instant like better mood and you like want to be like that person so i aspire to be the best person that i can be i am a positive person because i made the choice to be i made the choice i would say like almost two years ago to just live a positive life and to try and stop complaining about little things and to just look on the bright side and it's very hard to do 
all the time like it can't be done all the time you can't just always be in a great mood never anything bothers you but you can be a positive person that um looks on the bright side of everything and that knows that good things are to come you have to know and believe that good things are coming into your life else they won't you it's all about i was tweeting about this today it's all about also your thoughts like thoughts become things it's so true legitimately what you think about happens in your life so if you want a good positive life that's the kind of thoughts you have to have you can't be Someone's at my door in my room service. I interrupt this Q&A temporarily because I'm starving. I haven't eaten in probably six hours or something since the plane. I interrupt this Q&A to bring you my room service, which just, it looks phenomenal, honestly. I ordered a chicken breast and it came with like some veggies and then some fingerling potatoes, which are just like little potatoes. I didn't know it was gonna come with the bread. Definitely gonna probably eat it. <laughs> and then I got a dessert, which is this like chocolate bunk cake with ice cream. And the only thing I don't like about getting room service when I get like it at the same time is the ice cream always melts when I get ice cream with my dessert. So I, ca I kind of have to eat quick, but I'm gonna finish the Q&A after this because I'm starving. See you then. I stuffed my face, I changed, and I'm back. Basically, I think I answered um, the last question. I was just probably starting rambling honestly. Megan Cookson says do you like my dog? I love your dog. He looks like Theo, Emily June's dog a little bit. So cute. Why won't that focus? Hey Anna says how are you so independent? And um, I am almost 21 years old so I feel like you really should be independent at that age. But at the same time um, at the end of the day you can't really rely on anyone except yourself honestly I think being independent is really really important I became independent when I was 18 and I moved out across the country uh, yeah I really really like being on my own I've always I feel like been pretty independent for a while I like being in control of myself and just you know like making all of my own decisions and I like making my own money providing for yourself fully um, it feels really good to be able to do that and I like being able to do that. I like not having to rely on somebody else for anything. It's great. It's the best way to live your life, honestly. Naomi Jade 13 says, ever want to get married and have kids one day? And this is something that I really, once again, it's kind of like a planning thing. Like, I have no idea. Um, I definitely really, really want to find the person that I want to spend my life with. But at the same time, um, I am in no rush to get married whatsoever or to have kids. Um, I do not know if I will end up having kids at this point in my life. I cannot picture my life at all with kids for an extremely long time. I really don't know if I'll ever have kids, but you know, I'm saying this at the age of 20 years old. I don't know what I'm gonna be feeling when I'm 30, when I'm 40, you know what I mean? Like life is always changing, so we'll see. I just wanna have like, for me personally, I wanna have like a very, very fulfilled and amazing life before I dedicate my life to a child for 18 years. 18 years until they're grown up and then you know they're obviously your child forever but um yeah i don't know I, I i just i don't think it's selfish i just think that not everybody should have kids and that not everybody needs to have kids and i don't know if i you know want to have a kid or five in the future, then I'll do that. I'm um, kind of going off of this question a little bit is a question from Anna X O R T B. And she says, in your psychic reading video, you mentioned she said you would meet the one this fall. Do you think that is going to happen? And um, I did mention that. And it's funny because so many of you guys remembered that I said that in that video. And I remembered as well. And I just have a really, really great feeling about not only like this fall, but kind of like this upcoming year i talked about this in a vlog last week but this year jupiter is in my sign for the first time in like 10 years and when jupiter is your is in your sign you're like the star of the zodiac and you're just it's supposed to be just a really really great time with lots of gifts from the universe and things like that you guys know how i feel about astrology like i completely believe in astrology because it affects my life on a daily basis um i really really connect with and love reading astrology and all of that kind of stuff yeah so do i think that i'm gonna meet the one this fall um yeah i mean hopefully you know i think everything 
happens when it's supposed to happen and I'm not, you know, in any rush, but that would be awesome. The lady that told me that, her name is Natalie and I actually would really, really, um, I've been thinking about going back and seeing her and just seeing what she would say to me again because I actually saw her like a few times after that reading um, when she first initially told me that. So I definitely want to go back and pay her a visit and I could maybe make like an update vlog or something like that with what she tells me when I go back. J21 Gayton says, what's the best festival you've been to and what festivals are you planning on going to next year? The best festival I've been to is a tie between two. They're both in Georgia. The best festivals I've ever been to, I've been to festivals all over the country that I've been to, as I said, are in Georgia. Georgia is such a beautiful place to host a festival. I like, I prefer festivals that are on like a very large, like grassy, just large open area and not extremely crowded. I've found that with a lot of the city festivals I've gone to and a lot of the really, really more crowded ones. Um, so it's a combination between Counterpoint, which I went to for the first time this year. It's in May. It's only like $150 for a three-day festival. It's a smaller festival. That's a really, really good price, including camping. And then Tomorrow World is my other favorite, which I went to last year. I'll be going to again at the end of September. It is by far the most beautiful festival it's an electronic music festival but people come from all over the world because it mirrors tomorrow land which is in belgium which i would actually die to go to and no one would go with me this year but i would have gone i literally wanted to go so bad but tomorrow world will do it for me tomorrow world is probably like the top most like amazing just the best like feelings and surrounded by so much love if you guys have never been to a festival go to a pick a festival that you're super super passionate about the type of music and look into it don't just like go to a festival because it's close to you genuinely go to a festival that's like you think like this is the right festival for you because they all have their kind of feels like going to a lot of festivals is it's it gets really addicting but it's I, I kind of like it this sounds weird but I kind of like need them they give me a really nice break from reality especially festivals that aren't in like a city festivals that are kind of more away from everything like Bonnaroo and like festivals that I've been to in Georgia it gives you just kind of this break from reality and for a whole you know weekend or however long you go sometimes four days you can just be in this like state of just extreme like happiness beautiful music being with you know hopefully your best friends or maybe like your love or something like that it's my dream to like go to a festival with somebody that like i'm in love with yeah anyway i'm going on a rampage now because i love talking about festivals the answer is tomorrow world and counterpoint are the best however tomorrow world is like if you went every day it's probably around 400 to 600 dollars so it's definitely a little bit more expensive however you can get one day tickets so everything you know you just gotta if you really want to go to something um like a festival that's expensive just save up and buy your ticket in advance because they will sell out and go lourdes flores says what are you going to miss the most from megan as your roommate and um definitely already missing having megan live with me i think just being able to have like that person that i can tell absolutely like everything to be able to like walk into her room you know what i mean like and have like a conversation like just like right there you know obviously meg only lives 10 minutes from me i went to her place last night super super close but it's not the same obviously as living in the same apartment so i think i'll just miss having her like so close but we'll still do that stuff it'll just be like a little bit different because we'll both have our own places I'm just going to answer one more question because I feel like I've been at this for a while and we can always do more Q&As in future vlogs. Um, the last question is one that I've been getting a lot. It's from Always Alley 234 and she says two things. When are you going to do beauty videos again and how are you going to decorate your new place? The answer to when I'm going to do beauty videos again is soon, but I do not have like a set date. Um, I am not on a schedule for that channel. It's just kind of like... It's the type of thing where I'm, I'm gonna make a video when I, because I haven't made a video for like five weeks or something like that. Um, so when I make a video, my next video on that channel, I decided I'm gonna do a sit down video just kind of explaining like what's in my brain um, because I want to like explain myself. Right now, I am vlogging every other day. The days besides that, I'm uploading and editing those vlogs. And this is my main focus right now. And I love vlogging. And it's not like I want to end my main channel. Once you've been on here for five years, like 
breaks, long breaks sometimes, like they happen. Doing this for over five years now, having that channel for over five years, like there's been periods where I, you know, haven't been as motivated, inspired, and then there's periods where I was uploading every other day and I like, you know, was doing like nothing but YouTube. So it's just like, it's all about like phases and stuff, you know, right now. Like I'm, right now I'm in a vlogging phase. I'm in a very busy traveling, moving, like so much has been going on in my life. I think you guys know that. And you know, it's just like, I obviously am still wanting to make videos for you guys. And this is the easiest and most enjoyable way for me to make videos for you guys right now. And to give you the most videos, most uploading. So I hope that makes sense. So I will start doing beauty videos again when I have time to hopefully I can get a video filmed um, next week before I leave for all of my traveling. And then she says, how are you gonna decorate your new place? I'm working with um, an interior designer who actually I met yesterday and I'm so, so excited. And basically it's a loft. So I'm just gonna decorate it like a cool loft. No, we'll see. I think it's gonna look absolutely incredible. And I am gonna stop this Q and A now cause my arm hurts really bad. And I'm probably gonna watch a movie. Hope you guys enjoyed. Give this a thumbs up if you liked this little uh, Q and A, and I this was obviously the first one, so I feel like it was like pretty long. But I can do them, you know, mini. I can do like a short little. I don't know. Does, do you guys have a, a name that I should call this, like Colleen's Corner? Except I'm just answering you guys' questions. Let me know. Yo yo yo! I randomly decided I was gonna watch um this Burning Man documentary. Uh, it's called Spark. I started looking into Burning Man, just like researching it, cause it's like. It's just like a fascinating event so I wanted to like learn about it and see like the story behind it and what happens and everything it's like very different than any normal festival so I'm gonna watch the documentary and I bought it on Vimeo because <laughs> I really wanted to see it so I think it's gonna be fascinating here I go it's like 1 in the morning also I'm crazy